I've been using Microchick in my family home for many years because of Capsman. It's a big house, it's a big property, I need several access points managed by Capsman, and it's been good. This is actually the main router up here that I think that it's called the HAP AC3. So um, I thought I'd upgrade it because I needed another port, basically. It's a terrible, that's how it started. This came up on my radar thanks to the Microtech YouTube channel, which is pretty decent now. I bought it from Lin ITX in the UK. As soon as it came out, pre-ordered it. It's got the extra ports, it's nice and compact. The red color is not going to match with the aesthetics of this. My, this is my mother's room, to be honest. Mounting this thing is completely different. You see, like, the sockets are, and now this has to go. And, and there's no mounting, like, sockets here. So I've, I've got a whole bunch of cable ties here, as you can see. And I'm going to awkwardly put it in there. As for configuring it, I initially put it up here like just configuring it just almost by hand using this configuration as reference, but it, nothing worked. And this is the big issue with this upgrade is that they've broken Capsman. The new Wi-Fi Wave 2 um, thing in here is not compatible with controlling all the other access points in my parents' property. So, um, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so I gotta, I'm gonna reestablish a Capsman here and then set up a Capsman somewhere else for the older stuff. And then I was gonna upgrade this one. So another thing is that I can upgrade this one to use a new Wi-Fi thing. So yes, I can control, this, this one can be a, a, a cap to this, but basically that's it. And I just, uh, this is almost, this. If this upgrade doesn't go well now, I'm gonna replace it now. I configured it at, at my leisure in the next house. So hopefully I'm gonna have no issues just swapping this over now, except for like tying it up. It's gonna be a nightmare. Ah, there's internet, there's internet. I left it with, um, you know, MTR ping running. Okay, so let me double check that the firewall is set up because I actually have own a uh, subnet here in Prairie Swam. <laughs> so I don't have NAT. I don't have NAT. And that confuses the hell out of a lot of things. I'm really afraid that all the IPs on this home network are exposed to the internet. I'm just gonna end map myself from, a, from another machine. And if it comes up with all the ports, then I have no, uh, ah, yes. I think I've got it right then. It's 7.30, 30 minutes until the Rugby World Cup. And I still haven't got Capsman working in Legacy on one of my other APs or on the new access point running Wi-Fi at Wave 2. Ah, I've got 30 minutes to kind of figure it out. So, what I usually do in times like these is... Export my configuration and ask IRC. Uh, hopefully that will be a good move. So weeks later, I think I have everything working. It's not ideal. Um, Microtech have released a video about the new Wi-Fi 6 with Capsman, which will probably be a better guide than this, which I originally intended, to be honest. I don't know. It's like, uh, I feel old because... All these new technological experiences that I have, I mean, I, I like to feign excitement when something new comes along. Wi-Fi 6, it's going to be faster, but I'm just so bitterly disappointed. And, and the Microtech, everyone knows that it has like a bad UI and, and, that, and that stuff, everyone knows that. But like, I really think they just absolutely made a hash of, the, of, of their uh, upgrade path to Wi-Fi 6 furthermore. It's just just really really disappointing um, so this video it's not a fun tutorial it's nothing really exciting except um, technology kind of sucks please like the video
please subscribe for more and uh, comment below about your experience with Wi-Fi 6. Hopefully it's a lot better when you don't use Magatech. <laughs> Bye. One final note, my mother ended up taping this up. Yes, we have a configuration to turn off all the LEDs, but it doesn't work. I complained to Microtech, they say it does work, and I said, no, it doesn't work. The LEDs still flash, and that's why it ended up like that.